Prince Harry's upcoming memoir has the royal family quaking in their boots, a royal biographer has claimed. Christopher Anderson recently released the book Brothers and Wives which discusses the relationship between the Sussexes and Cambridges. The book makes sensational claims such that the rift between Prince William and Prince Harry could date back to childhood and that it was Prince Charles who allegedly questioned what Archie's skin color would be. Christopher Anderson, a U.S. journalist, has been reporting on the royals since 1970s and believes there is more drama to come next year. The Queen will mark her platinum jubilee next year. The celebration of her 70-year reign will come just months before Prince Harry's memoir is published. Christopher speculates this will create issues on whether or not to invite the Sussexes. He told, I would imagine they are quaking in their boots, I know they are. The potential for calamity with the publication of that book is immense. He added, and so I can see more chaos on the horizon and more hurt feelings. Meghan will come and she will bring Archie and Lily. The celebration will most likely see the royals gathered on the Buckingham Palace balcony for the trooping the color. If Prince Harry and Meghan Markle come with their two children, it would be the first time the royal family meets Lilibet, after she was born in June. However, the royal biographer says tensions within the family remain. He said, William is completely loyal to his father. Any perceived slight to his father, even from his own brother is something he inevitably will respond to. I can't imagine that he won't tell his own story at some point. It comes as Prince Charles reportedly called in his lawyers after he was accused of being the royal racist alluded to by Harry and Meghan in their bombshell Oprah interview. The couple made headlines across the world in March when they suggested a senior member of the royal family asked what color Archie's skin would be. The book claims Charles, 73, was the royal who made the comment in a ledgers it happened on the morning Harry and Meghan's engagement was officially announced, November 27, 2017. A spokesperson for the Prince of Wales has strongly denied the claims, stating, this is fiction and not worth further comment. Another news, the BBC has been at the centre of a royal controversy over the past few weeks due to the documentary The Princes and the Press, a two-part documentary hosted by presenter Amol Rajan. The series examined the fractured relationship between Prince William and Harry and the British press. It also highlighted the tainted relationship between two institutions, the monarchy and the BBC which have been thought to have an understanding in the past that has seen the BBC film the footage of many royal events. Royal expert Neil Sean spoke about the nail in the coffin between the institutions. He said, now Prince William is considering yet another BBC pullout. Let me explain behind this particular thought process. Every year the BAFTAs are screened on primetime BBC One in February. It is well attended good ratings for the BBC. But Prince William, as you can imagine, is looking at all things BBC right now and pondering the effects of whether it's still viable to be associated with the British Broadcasting Corporation. One idea which we told you about on the channel a few days ago, is that they could simply go down the streaming route, this will be far more effective. And what Prince William, we're told, also truly believes is that they could reach a younger audience more people actively involved getting into the arts and seeing exactly BAFTA is all about. It does make sense because less and less people are watching traditional television, as you can imagine. Now what's also interesting is that if they decide to go down this route it will be cheaper for BAFTA and of course, they would get no doubt a bigger audience. But this really would be the final nail in the coffin between the British monarchy and of course, the British Broadcasting Corporation. What a shambles that this has become when you think about it, all to do with the fact that someone wanted to make a documentary slighting the two princes and of course, the media and the press. What truly emerged about the documentary though was it was particularly one-sided as we all saw. I don't need to go into major detail, but right now, the BBC could not be lower rating in the popularity of the license fee payers here in the United Kingdom, and no doubt more so in the palaces of the monarchy. 